Welcome to class tonight. I do hope that you all are having a wonderful, wonderful night. Now, today in class, we worked on multiplying fractions. We learned that it was incredibly easy. In fact, when we use cross multiplication, which is one thing we learned to, or we reviewed today, when we use cross multiplication, it becomes extremely easy. Now, tonight we're going to be focusing, as you can see on the board, we're going to be focusing on multiplying mixed numbers. Now, the nice thing is we're going to be using basically the exact same skills we learned last night in tonight's lesson. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, first step, and a very wise step, I feel, is to t spend some time practicing estimating Products. Remember, products is the word for the answer to a multiplication problem. So we're going to spend some time estimating the following products. Now, when it says estimate, estimate simply means get it to the nearest whole number. Okay? Get it to the nearest whole number. Now this, that's going to be uh, 6. Because I have 5, 6, that's clo uh, close to 1. And then 5 is going to be 5, obviously. So 1 plus, or 5 plus 1 is going to be equal 6. Now this one right here, 4 ninths, that's really only going to be close to about 6, okay? You could probably say it's close to a half, but we're just going to get to the nearest whole number, and 4 sixths is below half, so we're going to say that's 6. So, if I was going to estimate these two fractions, I would say that's really close to 6, and that's really close to 6 as well, so 6 times 6 equals 36. So we would say that the answer to this problem is going to be somewhat close to 36. One more example. Once again, I have 7 and oh, sorry, I have 7 and 11 sixteenths and then 7 and 1 fifth. That is really close to one whole. So I'd say 7 plus one whole. Now this one so one fifth is not really close to one whole at all. That's really close to zero. So it would just be seven. So you'd get eight times seven equals 56. So the answer to that question right there is going to be somewhere around 56. Now I spent some time doing that just because it is important to know how to very quickly estimate and say, all right, my answer is going to be close to this. It helps us check our answer. It's always a very good thing. So that is estimating the following products. That's really, really easy. The next step, this is where it gets not really tricky, just a slightly more difficult. Now you'll see a couple things on the board. First of all, this is the problem that we're going to be working on. But before we get that, I want to talk about that right there. That little box, you're going to see that box throughout the rest of the slide, throughout the rest of the video. That box tells you the order you should be solving these problems, the order that you should be doing these things. Now, you will notice the very first step is to take your mixed numbers and make them improper fractions. Now, we do that because that makes everything a great deal easier. It's more difficult to multiply these fractions together and then multiply these and then add them together. That's just a more added steps. It's easy just to make them improper fractions. So let's do that first. So remember we times and then we add. Times and then add. So it's going to be three times, sorry, two times three is going to be six. Plus 2 is going to be 8. So 2 and 2 thirds is going to be the same thing as 8 thirds. Down here, 3 times 4 is going to be 12. Plus 1 is going to be 13. 13 fourths. So I just changed. First of all, I made improper fractions. Now my next step is going to be to cross multiply. We, learned, we reviewed how to do that today in class, so it should be a more of a review. So when I look at this, I say, all right, 3 and 13, I, I can't simplify that at all. But, ooh, 8 and 4, I can divide both of those by 4. And if I divide both sides by 4, this will become a 2, and this will become a 1. So therefore, I'm going to switch colors on you on purpose. So therefore, now I can simply multiply. 2 times 13 is going to be 26. 3 times 1 is going to be 
3, and then finally I simplify. Remember, we simplify by making this improper fraction a proper fraction, so it's going to be 26 divided by 3, so it's going to go in uh, 8 times. So my final answer is going to be 8 and 2 thirds. Okay? So going back, once again, I first of all made my number an improper fraction, right here, made the improper fractions, then I cross multiplied, then I multiplied, and then finally I simplified right there. Let's practice at least one more time. Technically I have two more times, but let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so once again you see this little box right here, that's incredibly important. Okay? Incredibly important. That it might be wise to write that somewhere. That might be a wise thing to do. So, we have our problem here. I'm going to solve it by, first of all, making improper fractions. 7 times 3 is 21, plus 1 is going to be 22. Next, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 plus 3 is going to be 15. Now I'm going to look, can I cross multiply? Well, I'm looking at 22 and 4. If I divide both of those by 2, if I divide both sides by 2, that would be a 2 right here, that would be an 11 right there. And then if I divide both sides by 3 here, that would be a 1. And this will become a 5. Bam! I just made my life a lot easier by cross multiplying. Blue. So now I multiply 11 times 5 is going to be 55. 1 times 2 is going to be 2, and then finally I simplify. So it's going to be uh, 50, um, it's going to be 27, 2 times 27 is going to be 54. Subtract that, get a 1, and get 1 half. So my final answer is 27 and one half. So you see once again, trying to go through this slowly, that box becomes incredibly important. I first of all make my improper fractions, I cross multiply, I multiply them, and then finally I simplify to get my answer. Alright, last thing for tonight. See, short and quick, I like that. Word problem, you know how I love these and love applying these to real life. So the word problem says, a student can ski cross-country three and one-half miles in one hour. Her instructor can ski cross-country one and one-third times as far in the same amount of time. How far can the ski instructor ski in one hour? So now I have a simple multiplication question. Do you see right here the word times? That's a key word for multiply, so we're going to be multiplying here. So let's multiply these, so it's going to be 3 and 1 half times 1 and 1 third. So those are what I'm going to be multiplying, using my keywords. So now I go back to my method right here. First step, make an improper fraction. So two, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7 halves. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So now I've made it my improper fraction, so now I'm going to cross multiply. That doesn't work. Ooh, that works. So if I divide both sides by 2, I get 1, and I get 2 here. And now I can go back to multiplying. 7 times 2 is 14. 1 times 3 equals 3. I simplify. It's going to go in four times. Oh, sorry. Go for it with the correct number, huh? Final answer four and three, sorry, four and two thirds times faster. Four and two thirds times faster. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that multiplying fractions and mixed numbers really is quite simple. 
follow those very simple steps, and it becomes quite easy. The key is to follow those steps. Always make improper fractions, then cross multiply, multiply, and finally simplify. Your homework tonight is going to be on pages 226 through 227. You're once again going to be doing the multiples of 3, so you're going to be doing numbers 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you all tomorrow.